In our last video, which was our first video on transformations, we talked about what happens when you take the x um, and y value in the equation and change it. And the, change, the type of changes we made in the first video involved us replacing x with x plus or minus a number. And what we found in that case is that this caused a translation, a slide of the graph, uh, h units horizontally and k units vertically. What I want to do in this video is look at what happens when I replace x with the opposite value or y with the opposite value or any combination of those. And so to do this, let's take um, a function that we're familiar with once again. This time I'm going to take the square root of x graph and I'm going to create some strategic points, points that I know well. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, square root of 9 is 3. And so I know my graph looks like so. And what I'm going to do with my first transformation is I'm going to replace x with negative x and so my equation becomes y equals the uh, square root of negative x. And so we've made a change in our x and we still which means we still want to be able to get the y values out that we had originally so let's put those in. And so to get 0 out I have to be square rooting 0 and so negative 0 or positive 0 is still 0. Uh, to get 1 out of my equation, I know the square root of 1 is 1. But since there's now a negative in that place, I'm actually going to have to put negative 1 in to counteract the negative that's there already. So the negative of negative 1 will be the square root of 1, which will be 1. Okay, one more time. So we want 2 to come out of our square root. And so we know that what's in here has to be 4. But if there's already a negative in that spot, it won't do to put 4 in. We're going to have to put the opposite of that value in to counteract the negative that's there. And so we get negative 4. And similarly, negative 9. And so you see what's happened to the points in the table, and therefore on the graph, is that changing x to negative x has forced me to take the opposite x value from before to get the same y value. And when I graph those points, I'm going to notice that I get a reflection of the graph across the y-axis. And that's always true of replacing x with negative x. I get a reflection of the original graph about the y-axis. All right, the change I'm going to make next for my original is that I'm going to replace y with negative y. And so my equation would be negative y equals the root of x, or if you prefer, y equals negative root x. And so I'm making my change to y, and so I'm going to keep my x coordinates the same as they were originally. And let's start with the bottom uh, point in the table this time. So looking at my equation here, When I put 9 in, I know I get 3 out, but my output is no longer called y, it's called negative y. And so to get 3 out, the actual value that I have to put in for y is the opposite of that, to counteract the negative that's there. In fact, all of my y values change sign. Which means when I graph these points, compared with my original graph in black, all the points have been reflected across the x-axis. And that's always what happens when y is replaced by negative y. You get a reflection in the graph about the x-axis. And so finally, if I was to replace both x with negative x and y with negative y, so that my equation became this, or if you prefer to move the y on the negative to the other side, that's going to cause both the original x's and y's to switch sign. 
And so you could anticipate, well, that would be like a double reflection, a reflection across the x-axis and then the y, or the y and then the x. And in the end, the final graph would be over here. And so that graph can be considered as a reflection about two axes uh, consecutively. Or another way to look at it is a rotation of the original graph 180 degrees about the origin. Take this section here and rotate it. I'm unable to do it on this. Rotate it and you'll see that it lands here. And so coming back to where we started, replacing x with negative x reflects the graph across the y-axis. Replacing y with negative y reflects the graph across the x-axis. And doing both of them creates a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. And yes, this does apply to any graph. Just to convince you, let's look back at this function that we talked about in the last video. We have our core points. And let's just do one of the changes. Let's replace x with negative x. So our y values we want to have them come out the same and so what we're going to have to do is put the opposite x value in so if we put negative 5 in the negative of negative 5 will be f of 5 which we know is 2 which produces our output of 2. So all of our x values switch sign which means the graph reflects across the x-axis.